hi good morning students let's start our class regarding the types of solutions are there we have i have already discussed here solution has been classified to types of there true solutions and non true solutions are there are also the class but a homogeneous solution and heterogeneous solutions are there in the homogeneous solution only one category is there that but a true solution so look at this homogeneous solutions are the true solution is there in this true solution you can see the particle size is 0.01 nanometer to 1 nanometer only the particle size very very small only so because of very very small particle size we cannot see this particle with your naked eyes it means suppose i am taking the water when it dissolves sugar we cannot see the sugar particles is there or not so we cannot see you cannot don't see so uh, look at there uh, just go for standing process after rain salt solution when i kept over there one hour two hour three hours is there now the sand the sugar particles are never ever settled at the bottom next point is do not scatter the light suppose i am taking the one glass when i when i take the one touch light when i pass the light what happened there you cannot see any scattering of the light will be not be takes place we study in the ninth standard so what happened they may be passed through the ordinary filter paper look at it just consider here i am taking one filter paper i am taking one glass and when i when i pour the salt of solution sugar solution what happened there all the solute and solvent particles are passed through the solution these kind of solutions called as a homogeneous solutions no confusion no so homogeneous solutions are particle size is 0.01 nanometer to 1 nanometer is there we cannot see you cannot see the particle size there don't be separated by the standing process do not scatter the light nothing but tinder but is not shown by the true solutions they can be passed by the filter paper easily example in nothing but nacl solution sugar solution is example <coughs> sorry next come into the classification of colloidal solution it the classification of heterogeneous solutions are there one is colloidal solution next one suspension only colloidal solution seems to be like a homogeneous solutions but not a homogeneous solutions is the called as heterogeneous solutions only the particle size of the heterogeneous solution colloidal solutions in the range of the 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometers are there dispersion phase dispersion medium will be there the dispersion medium is large quantity this way dispersion phase is but a small quantity will be there remember dispersion medium here nothing but a solvent dispersion phase nothing but a solute only okay remember we have any confusion regarding this one is remember in english medium school different students medium just remember dispersion medium is large one is different st class students studying with them okay individual class with the solute particles only so do not separate by the standing process generally easily will not be stand but if you keep long time is there you know they can be see the separation of the fat particles and water molecules are there they scatter they will exhibit tindall effect is the why tindall effect is for suppose when winter time you are just walking on the road on the roads morning time you just see that one some scattering of light will be takes place we cannot see clearly or else is there you know when your night sensation you are going over there you can see that one whenever car lights are coming you can see some dust particles will be scattered look at this color tindall effect will be scattering of light only they look at this way they can be passed through the ordinary filter of paper but not easily through the ultra filter paper if you take normal filter of paper what is you are using the lab it is called buckman filter of paper we cannot have separate but if you using the ultra filter of paper we can easily separate example let them be milk solution starch solution is example of the colloidal solution generally colloidal solution of the milk which is remember milk is there no you can see it's like homogeneous not homogeneous it's containing water containing the fat molecules clear you can easily separate by the centrifugation process you can separate the fat and the water only next one is the suspension suspension at the particle size are more than 1000 nanometers clear here particle size of more than 1000 nanometers these particles are shows the settle at the bottom suppose i am placing i am taking one glass beaker in the glass beaker i take some water when i pour small amount of the sand particles sir what happened the sand particles are slowly settle at the bottom you can easily see the separation of the solute and solvent only particles uh, settle at the settle at the bottom they will scatter the light you can both collide a solution and suspension they will be scatter the light they cannot pass to the ordinary filter paper you know very well the separation method we just did in the earlier classes see there no we take was sand water when you filter what sand will be separate water will be separate example is there in a pharmaceutical suspension of emulsions are there face creams what are you using you know these materials are nothing but here they will exhibit the this type of condition once again i am saying the solution has been classified based on the particle size true solutions 
so homogeneous solutions heterogeneous solution in the heterogeneous solution two sub categories uh, sub categories are there one is the colloidal solution next one is a suspension colloidal solution example is milk suspension of the butte sand in the water true solution of the butte salt water clear no any confusion is there okay students let's start the new topic here colligate properties what is the colligate properties the properties of any solution if you take the boiling point freezing point osmotic pressure proper pressure this depend upon the number of solute particles but not the nature of the solute particles once again saying the properties of any solution depend upon the number of solute particles but not based on nature of solute particles is known as a colligative properties so this number of solute particles are depend decides the behavior of the solutions only so regarding this colligative properties we are going to discuss in detail very very important for 12th standard so here in this colligative properties are there no the colligative properties are there here the mention is classified colligative properties so remember color colligative property nothing but collective properties number colligative properties depend upon only number of dissolved particles but not the nature of dissolved particles whether the nacl or take away the glucose is not depend on it is depend upon the only number of solid particles present in so sir what is difference is there if we suppose if we take the one mole of glucose one mole of glucose gives only one mole of glucose particles clear suppose 180 grams of glucose gives our got number of particles if you take the 58.5 grams of nacl it gives the two our got number of particles why because we put this one mole of sodium ion one mole of chlorine ion so these number number will be decides the behavior of the particles so this called colligative properties so in this colligative property we are discussing about the osmotic pressure will uh, relate to lowering of vapor pressure raoult's law by elevation of the boiling point depression of the freezing point once again i am saying here osmotic pressure concentration of an osmotic osmosis process you know very well clear during osmosis process this process depend upon the number of solute particles but not the about the nature of solute particles vapor pressure is there suppose i am taking the one what beaker of water if you take pure solvent the vapor pressure is different if you take the the salt plus sugar the vapor is different is depend upon number of solute particles boiling point is suppose i'm telling pure water it's boiling point 100 degrees celsius if we add diesel kilos in the boiling point region this call as elevation suppose freezing point is then water freezes at the 0 degrees celsius when we add 37 percentage of ethyl alcohol the water freezes at the 17 degrees celsius depression decreasing of the freezing point by adding of the impurities are there okay elevation of boiling point by adding the impurities are there change in the vapor pressure by adding up the non volatile solute nothing but here yeah. change in the osmotic pressure by adding up the common number of solute particles only regarding this one is we are discussing for board examination these are the very very important only next comment is the next class is there here okay colligate for some example i will give the very clear clear area yeah. so i am taking the one mole of sugar one mole of sugar nothing but a one mole of sugar present in the one liter of the water One mole means how much is there? Our got number only now. What is our got number? Six point zero two two into ten to the power of twenty three atoms. Suppose here one mole of particles are generated. When you take the one mole of the one mole of sugar particles, if I take the zero point five mole of sugar, so zero point five mole of NaCl. If I take the zero point five mole of NaCl. How many moles of particles are coming? Look at the concentration. That means here one molar concentration, here zero point five molar concentration. So zero point five molar concentration concern is half of this original value mole. No? So look at here. It's the particles are here. Our got number of particles are there. Look at here two into half number. Look at the two into our got number only will come here. Here are the particles will come here two into our got number only. So look at here. This concern is depend upon the concentration half concentration only. So both solutions have the same number of dissolved particles. You can if you look at the concentration, it's zero one molar concentration, half molar concentration, but zero point five molar concentration produces number of ions are equal. Here produces number of particles also equal only because you can each NaCl and units creates a two particles of the dissolved particle Na plus and Cl minus only. Both solutions have the same freezing point and boiling point, vapor pressure and osmotic pressure. I already discussed here the colligative properties are depend upon the number of solute particles, not depend upon the nature of the particles are there. 
here non-polar molecule is a polar molecule clear no so these properties are not depend upon the number of not depend upon the nature of the particles depend upon the number of particles this is known as a colligative properties only there are non polar colligative properties include viscosity surface tension solubility are different only regarding this one we are not discussing regarding this one only we are discussing it look at the so the, the properties are which depend upon the number of solute particles but not nature of solute particles that one is deconum depression freezing point elevation the boiling point vapor pressure osmotic pressure these are nothing but a colligative properties are there colligative properties next one is colligative properties are there now we are discussing here the colligative properties especially first one is osmotic pressure osmosis process what is mean osmosis process you know very well osmosis process in small example i will say when you are preparing any pickle something else you could take the raw mango pickle i am just want to prepare when i take the raw mango piece when i place in the salt solution after two days is there you know, the mango pickle, pickle will be shrink why mango pickle begin shrink in the matte when you place in salt solution salt having more concentration so water molecules move from the pickle so uh, that's why what is a mango piece to salt in a sense solution first of all if you do not understand the osmotic pressure first you have to understand the diffusion what you know diffusion means you know very well gas molecules are move from the high pressure to low pressure is known as diffusion okay you know? the gas part the substance tend to move from the diffusion at the but here high pressure to low pressure what diffusion example if take perfume bottle when i spray the perfume bottle the gas molecules are move from the high pressure to low pressure it's called diffusion only okay now suppose i'm taking here look at the here high concentration number of particles are more when i apply the pressure what happens when i open this one is diffusion process happen if you want simple example means take a balloon fill it with the air after this one you just open the balloon what happens the gas molecules move from the balloon to outside another but osmosis process sorry diffusion is happening the diffusion process is reverse of the osmosis process clear the diffusion process is reverse of osmosis process in diffusion process molecules move from high concentration to low concentration in osmotic pressure water molecules move from the low concentration to high concentration clear a uh, diffusion osmotic process both are the different will be there so next one is the here go for the osmosis it will look at in this osmosis process is there and i'm taking the one u u shape tube i'm taking here look at the i'm taking one u shape tube is there in this u shape tube is there no i'm taking here the i'm just considering i'm taking here more number of solute particles are blue color is nothing but more number of solute particles there only solvent is there there only solvent is there initially the both volumes are same clear initial the both volumes are say here one layer look at the one just can call a semi permeable membrane what is the semi permeable membrane means here look at this membrane is there then this membrane in general we are taking as a pick bladder next one is a parachute membrane otherwise is an egg outer layer is there no white color layer will come that layer also will use as a semi permeable semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane means here this membrane yellow only one kind of particles are pass through it only solvent molecule can pass through the semi permeable membrane not the solute particles why because i mean some solvent particles having small size solute particles having large size so what i mean they when the two solutions are when i connect with the semi permeable membrane because of difference in the concentration look at difference in the concentration what happened there here this concept once we are you know solvent molecules are in the osmosis process i said very clearly solvent molecules move from the low concentration to high concentration so what happened there whenever slowly the solvent particles are moving the length of look at this change change will difference is coming you no know? this difference is nothing but the solvent molecule will be passed from semi permeable membrane only So what I mean is the yellow the look at the here uh, on the separation of concentration solution from the water by semi permeable membrane yellow passes up solvent and prevent the solute only solvent molecules will be passed through semi permeable membrane not the solute particles water will be diffused from the solution of low concentration to the solution of high concentration said so very clear no so water molecule move from the low concentration to high concentration the diffusion of solvent through the semi permeable membrane is known as osmosis the diffusion of the momentum of the solvent particles through the semi permeable membranes known as osmosis 
Clear? Next one is here. Look at here. This compose I'm taking one is there here. One two containers are there. These two containers are they taking high concentration here low concentration is there i'm placing the one tube here look at the one table one tube is i'm placing here here also one tube is there i'm placing here just initially the both stand look at the both levels are same only clear initial the both levels are same when i connect the same this is called semi permeable membrane the semi permeable semi permeable membrane which allows only solvent particles are passed through it clear so <coughs> sorry so what happened there? Due to difference in the concentration, initially levels are same. The time leads. So what happened there? Look at the solvent particles are slowly moving. Whenever solvent particles are slowly moving, look at there here. The length is look at there. Look at here. Length is slowly increases only. The tube length is sorry. The solution of the tube is slowly increases only. So what happened there? Because of increasing what happened there? Some prejudice generated here. Look at the whenever the look suppose I'm just considered this is a closed one. This is a closer one. Look at here. I'm taking one is here. I'm just taking the one color pen. I'm taking here pen. I'll consider here the closer one. Look at here. Just imagine here one closer one is there. Here is closer one. Clear. Some air molecules are there. Some air molecules are there. I'm just want to take the pressure here. I want to check the pressure. Suppose I'm taking the initial pressure is P1. Look, I'm taking here. I'm taking here. Just consider this is one is here. One open is there. Here also one open is there. Okay. I am taking the initial pressure is nothing but here P1 is the initial pressure. Here P1 is the initial pressure. Just consider here also P1 is the initial pressure. Okay, P1 here just mention P2 is just take P2 is the initial pressure. So what happens the times goes on from here to here? What happens there? The pressure is increases. The pressure is increases only. So P1 plus some external pressure is comes here. So P1 plus some external pressure. Where is the external pressure is coming here? The external pressure is coming because of the solvent particles are move from here to here. Clear now? When our solvent particles are moving here, some air gap is there now. The air gap, what happens? This air gap is filled with the water molecule. Okay, air gap is filled. What happens there? The air will become less space will come. So what happens? Air will become less space is there now. What happens? Some pressure generated. What is osmotic pressure means? The pressure apply on. Look at the what is mean by osmotic pressure means? Look at the external pressure, the external pressure that apply on the solution to prevent the solvent molecule flow. Suppose when I apply the pressure, I am applying the pressure in here, up to extent, what I mean, up to what extent means here, that up to the time is there, no? here so the solvent particles are moving, no? the solvent particles are stop moving. The solvent particles are cannot move, up to one program, the pressure that I have to apply by external pressure, is not osmotic pressure. So this is the external pressure that must be applied to the solution in order to prevent the being diluted by the entry of the solvent molecule. Clear is there no? So this call is a rho. Asmod pressure represented by the rho. A general asmod pressure is pi. Pi is equal to pi is equal to. So look at here pi is equal to CRT. I am taking the pi is equal to C stands for concentration. C stands for concentration. R stands for universal gas constant that osmotic pressure depend upon the temperature. C R Do you well here concentration at the N by V only no? Look at the concentration at the N by V. Okay, concentration at the N by V only. So don't be confused here. So go for next slide, you'll get very clear idea. Go for next slide. Okay, I'm taking on here, just consider here, look at the osmotic pressure non electrolyte is there. Suppose osmotic pressure direct proportion to concentration. I said very clear now. Pi is equal to pi <laughs> pi proportional to pi proportional to C. Clear is the pi proportional to C. So what I mean that here the for non electrolyte here they mention very clearly non ionized electrolyte. For suppose it's become ionized this number will be equal to osmotic pressure depend direct proportional to the number of molecules only. For suppose I'm taking the one molar, one molar, look at the one molar, one molar sugar I'm taking, one molar of sugar we just consider one molar of sugar I'm taking, one molar of sugar, okay, sugar, just consider here one molar of sugar I'm taking, okay, if you take one molar of sugar that is different, if you take the one molar, one molar, NaCl is different, clear is then one molar NaCl. Take one molar NaCl. 
what about one molar NaCl? How many is the particles are there? One molar of sodium will come, one molar of chlorine will come. That will be different. That's the osmotic pressure that is proportional to the number of the particles only. Clear? Osmotic pressure depends upon the number of the particles, not then about the nature of the solid particles only. Clear is there now? So students remember here any confusions are there? Look at here in this one, no confusion is there, no. So we'll go for the next slide is there. If you go for the next slide here. Look at here, I just consider one more problem is there. The go for next year. Look at here. Look at it. this one is here. Just imagine here. I'm taking one is there, no. So example one is a solution contain 34.2 grams of sugar. Sugar molecular weight is 342. Sugar molecular weight is 342 only. So sugar molecular weight 342. So sugar molecule look at the solution contain 34.2 grams of sugar molecular weight is 342 in 100 grams of the water and has the same osmotic pressure as dextrose. Dextrose is the same osmotic pressure they have given is the same osmotic pressure nothing but here how many moles is coming look at how many moles are there so number of moles nothing but weight by molecular weight only what is the weight here 34.2 34.2 Four point two. Point two. What is the molecular weight here? Three forty two. Molecular weight is three four two. Three forty two. How much you'll get the you'll get the zero point one molar. Zero point one molar. So you have zero point one molar coming in some dextrose also. Remember dextrose also zero point one molar. Then only it's called as a same concentration, same osmotic pressure will be come here. Clear no no confusion here. A solution contain 34.2 grams of sucrose and the thousand grams of the then they can weight by weight process. We are same only number of moles is coming here also. Clear. So you got very clear no here they mentioned 34.2 grams are there, it meant thousand grams are there. So go for next one is there no next problem here. We'll go for next problem. So look at the weather given is van de half circle van half standard stated that there is a prop uh, there is a proportionality between the osmotic pressure and concentration is there at absolute temperature temperature they have taken fixed only okay now temperature they have taken fixed only so temperature they look at the here the pi generally osmotic pressure that proportional to concentration you know very well here the p nothing but one by v by n by v only you know same thing you are just remember suppose i am taking is there now i you know ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt ideal gas is equal to equation pv is equal to nrt P is equal to you know very well here <coughs> sorry here if you take the if you take the P is gonna if you take the P P is equal to P is equal to 1 by V P is equal to 1 by V remember here the P is equal to 1 by V only next one is there here V proportional to N V proportional to N okay no so what you look at the concentration nothing but N by V only no concentration nothing but Number of moles of solute present given volume of solution only no? n by v only no? okay no so same thing only generally pi pressure is equal to pi is equal to proportional to t only I want to remove the proportional cons first I want to pi is equal to pi proportional to c and t if you remove the proportional constant we need some other constant this constant called the universal gas constant okay universal gas constant value is given 0 0.082 0 0.082 0 0.082 liter atmosphere 0.082 liter atmosphere so you take the you can have 0.082 liter atmosphere only clear is there now so pv pv is equal to nrt same thing only we are taking as different term only we are taking as a different only once again i am saying here the pi is at proportional concentration pi is at proportional temperature pi is equal to ct only this is similar like ideal gas equation clear no this is similar like ideal gas equation look at here then you know very well pi v is equal to nrt pi is equal to n by v rt n by v number of moles per volume what you call concentration only no concentration you can represent in form of the molarity again normality molarity mole fraction only pi nothing but osmotic pressure t nothing but absolute temperature n nothing but number of moles of the gases v nothing but volume in the liter c nothing but concentration molarity you can take the m nothing but molarity number of moles molar number of moles here weight is given pi is equal to crt this is very very important for the problem only van de half factor is will use van de half factor means number of ions are there you take number of ions well, suppose one mole of nsl take no i factor is two if you take one uh, one mole of glucose i factor is one 
if you take the one mole of the potassium sulfate ktso4 how many particles are coming three particles are coming so i value is equal to three now so no need to confuse here so next one is here go for next slide is there look at the given one problem is there what is the osmotic pressure of one gram of sucrose one gram of sucrose they are given sucrose molecular weight is 342 grams clear not dissolved in 100 ml of the water Tem temperature they given 25 degrees celsius standard temperature r value they given 0 0.082 liter atmosphere okay so next one is first calculate the number of moles how many moles are coming this moles is given weight by molecular weight only <coughs> sorry so we'll get the 0 0.025 moles okay now so what is the concentration here can look at the concentration given by asthma pressure pi is equal to crt concentration of the number of moles per volume only no first find the number of moles and give the volume only. all you can give in and ml only so number of moles by volume of the concentration that concentration value will put here clear next one is there here rt or oh, what is r value here r value nothing but 0 0.082 liter atmosphere only so temperature is then they are given 25 degrees celsius you want to convert in kelvins only so how much is coming 0 0.7 atmospheres is a pressure once again i am saying here pi is equal to crt always remember that concept is pi is equal to crt what given number of moles given you have to find the concentration by using number of moles only volume they are given temperature they are given r value you have substitute you get the values only clear no confusion no so go for the next problem is here osmotic pressure of the electrolyte the dissociate into ion is up to we discuss about the uh, osmotic pressure we never have mentioned about number of particles are coming went half factor only suppose i'm taking one is a ktso4 three atoms are coming fecl3 here fecl look at the fecl3 four atoms are coming so what i mean that if you take one mole of this substance produce up to three moles here one mole if you take the four moles are coming so we not explain this type of the concentration effects so one scientist observe scientist name is a van half into one factor this is known as a van half factor only look at the they dissociate into ions then they dissociate into ions are they know increase the number of particles are formed to increase the osmotic pressure the number of ions increases osmotic pressure increases nacl ionizes into two ions and has the same effect on the osmotic pressure and same molecule only <laughs> sorry so pi will be twice pi value will be twice solution contain the same moles of the concentration okay number of moles will be held more but the concentration will be different look at that's why mention is pi is equal to i n r t or i m r t nothing but i nothing but you had mentioned is number of ions are there we have already discussed here the look at the first strong electrolyte i nothing but number of ions produced by the ionizing of the strong electrolyte suppose if i am taking the nacl if i take the nacl if it suppose if i am taking the nacl Okay, if you take NACL, look at the NACL, I value is equal to 2. Okay, na? you have 1 sodium, 1 chloride. Clear chloride. If you take the MgCl, if you take the MgCl, if you take the MgCl2, Cl2, I value is equal to 3. 2 chlorine ion, 1 magnesium ion. So, weak electrolyte range there, no? <coughs> Sorry. So, total number of particles divided by the total number of ions before it then. For non electrolyte, is then for sugar, look at the sugar, glucose, glucose, fructose, fructose, and urea. For this one, I value is, you know, I value is equal to urea. I value is equal to 1 only. For ionic solid only, I value will be very small. Clear? Next one is here. They like when vapor pressure only, we will discuss later.